Insult my intelligence? It's on the record now. I'm a veterinary technician and was doing some work in the reception area. We had a man and his pit bull come in. I'm getting them checked in and I ask what the dog's name is. He tells me the dog's name is Gucci. I ask how he spells it because you can never assume anything these days. He rolls his eyes and says, you don't know how to spell Gucci? Are you an idiot or something? The thing about veterinary medical records are that they are legal documents. They will exist for a certain number of years at least before they are destroyed. For the better part of a decade, I made the record show he arrived that day with a dog named Gucci since I'm apparently an idiot that can't spell Gucci. I used to have a bad kitty. Her name was us cat. When I went to the vet the office girls always giggled when they called us back to the room. She broke every screen on the first floor of the house. Such an ass. I hope your practice sends out those reminder letters for checkups and jabs. Dear sir, this is a reminder that Gucci is due to be seen by us for a glow-up appointment. The rest of the litter Prada, Louis Vuitton, and Cooch. My old vet had a cat named Fucker as a repeat customer. On the first visit, as a kitten, the owner was asked for the animal's name. Fucker ain't got a name yet. That's what went down on the intake sheet and it snowballed from there. You could have named the dog you don't know how to spell Gucci? Are you an idiot or something? You don't know how to spell Gucci? Are you an idiot or something? My standard response is apparently you don't. Because if they insist they do I ask them again. But if this case it would be better to say oh, I know how to spell it but I wasn't sure if you did. Implying that they look like an idiot. My son named a dog we got as Fido but I said it was good as long as I got to spell it. The dog's name was Fido. That's the reply of someone who 100 did not know how to spell his pet's name. Gucci a la Pucci. WTF kind of name is goat cheese, anyway? Oh well. Goat cheese it is. I can't fathom being rude to vet techs. Please 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 take care of my animal, whom I love, and need your help expertise looking after. I do understand people not being their best when their pets are sick distressed in trouble and want to give some leeway grace. But man oh man, I treat everyone at the vet as saints because thank you for your help. I mean, I knew someone who had a dog named Sugar. Arca Sugar. Just because you know how to spell Gucci doesn't mean that's how the dog's name is spelled. I would have responded, using unique spellings is common right now. I have no idea how you chose to spell it. Gucci and his owner Grouchy. In my book the response to are you an idiot or something? Is get out. Little bad cat. Or LBC was what we named out farm kitty. Angry shit gave me more scars than I could count. I love untraditional names for pets. Are you an idiot? Well, at least I didn't name my dog Gucci. I would have put down Gucci and watched his eyes bulge next time the dog's name was called. You don't know how to spell Gucci? Are you an idiot or something? No sir, I am not your family member. It is my firm belief that anyone who names their pet Gucci is usually an asshole. That poor dog. It's like Poochie with a G cute lil guy I see what he did there. Rolling on the floor laughing. You missed an opportunity to spell it gouts. Full name Gucci Gucci Goo. The Venn diagram of is an asshole, owner pitbull, and Gucci fan is one circle. No, I'm not an idiot, but the type of person who has a pitbull named after a fashion house whose history and design they likely have zero clue about usually are. I worked at a pet hotel and we had a recurring client with a dog named Bo. After years of bringing him to our facility, one day she mentioned his name is spelled Bo. Whoops. These are the same people who sit in the lobby and talk about how well Advantix and Hortz FT work on their cats. Grimacing face. Or how mellow their dog will be after its distemperment shot. Face palm medium skin tone emoji modifier hashtag hash. 
beside some owner's spell should tea all weird. The front desk of a veterinary office is never the place to make spelling assumptions. I hate people and that is why I work with animals. Face with tears of joy. In today's world, where it seems that most parents want to make their child, and pets can get the same treatment as children, stand out in some way, you can't assume the spelling of the most common of names. I would bet that he did not know how to spell it and that is why he threw it back at you. On a completely unrelated note my family and I have had numerous dogs and a few smaller pets here and there. I would like to thank you and all veterinary technicians as some of the most compassionate people I've met. Our pit bull had a pretty serious surgery at a university to take out a pretty big tumor near his lungs. Not only did our vet tech not associated with the university call to check in with us, but they also called the university to make sure they had the medication and aftercare ready for us. So, TLDR thank you for what you do. Yes, I know how to spell it, but I don't know if you do. Should have just named it Gooch. I need to call my dog by a famous brand because I have no personality of my own but what they sell me s. I, for one, think it's an improvement. The dog thanked the Lord. I was so pretentious before. I just want treats and pets. Gucci Gucci Goo. Should have done Coochie. Easy to mishear the beginning sound. Should have called it Coochie. Working as a CVT myself, I always laugh to see how many clients spell their pets' names wrong. I once had a pet named Katniss and yes they did name it after Katniss Everdeen from Hunger Games. No, but I deal with dumb animals every day. Should have used AC instead of G. I feel your pain I was a vet tech 20 years and have loads of stories. My favorite was the woman who brought her son's very obvious pit bull in. As I was checking her in, she saw me write pit bull and had a fit and fell in it this was absolutely not a pit bull she insisted it was a pit bull and would not stop until I wrote it on the chart correctly. Fortunately the dog was fine and she was only babysitting. We never saw her or the dog again. Only complete superficial douchebags think Gucci is cool and fashionable. Your Gucci is a little pudgy, please remember to feed it less. I have to ask everyone how to spell their name as well, no matter how simple their name may be. John Smith could be spelled many ways even John Smith, John Smith, John Smith, etc. It's just being thorough. IFN love you. Hope to sharpen my petty skills just like you ASAP. I'd call the dog Gucky. Gucci McGrumpapants. This is the level of pettiness I come here to see hysterical. I would have said, yes sir, I can spell Gucci I just have to make sure you knew how to spell Gucci when you named her. Him you don't know how to spell Gucci? You incorrect I know all the ways to spell Gucci. Which one did you pick for your dog? Oh, wait, do you not know all the ways to spell Gucci and assume there is only one way? LMAO how embarrassing for your stupid ass face with tears of joy. Has anyone ever named their dog Tamaguchi? Should have gone the extra mile and put in Coochie instead rolling on the floor laughing. Of course the dog is called Gucci. I used to manage a bookstore in Wash DC. I had this older woman in a full-length fur coat come in and ask for the tale of Pooh. Confused, I asked if she was looking for a specific tale. Big sigh, rolling of eyes and with a loud voice she says tale of Pooh. T-A-Y-O-H did you even go to school? Taken aback, I asked if she would like the tea of piglet with it. The books referenced were the Tao of Pooh and the tea of piglet. She did not appreciate the snickers from my assistant and assorted customers. Bitch. Someone owning a pit bull with the name Gucci gives off massive small dick energy. I'd have listed it as Asian, Gu Kai. Joke's on you. That's how he spells it. You also may have asked how to spell it because you didn't hear them correctly coochie. You should have put down Bella since that's like one three of all bitches I've seen when I was working in vet med. I thought you were going to put the name down as Gucci are you an idiot or something similar.